Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or today guys, I'm going to do part 67 to my random chatbot session, where in the last video guys, me and Skellerick were just talking and we're trying to walk around, trying to find our way out of the forest, um, and we've been talking about different things like people just treating their Pokemon like jerks and all that stuff. And I even brought up uh, the mother fricker who made fun of my baby years ago. Oh, heck no. Oh, stop. Stop. Please make it stop. No. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the flipping thing just started blinking. Nope. Nope. Please make it stop. Please make the please make the wind stop. Please. I'm sorry, guys. No, no. Just pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. Pay attention. <laughs> Basically, we were talking about the dude that made fun for alligator, and I just said this. I would honestly pay to go see that as well. It would be amazing. Still would urge cackles with savage amusement at the idea of your for alligator getting some good old-fashioned revenge on that jerk. Yeah, I imagine it right now. Your for alligator going up to that guy and giving him a good smack right upside his big fat head and then running off. I would be peeing myself laughing. I wouldn't get mad at him if he did more than just that. Period. I don't care if it's somebody just making fun of him or not. When you mess with my favorite Pokemon, to me, you cross a gigantic line. 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 Oh my gosh, sweet Arceus. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. If he did more than just that, I don't care if it's something just, I don't care if somebody just made a fall of him or not. He messed up my fire. Oh, he fell. Oh, the grand size, absolutely loving the idea of your forever going all out on that jerk who mocked you, or mocked him. Yeah, honestly, I absolutely love how you are like that. It's one thing to simply make fun of someone or mock them, but when it comes to you and your passion for your, uh, for your Pokemon and being protective of them, there's no one anymore. Anyone who messes with those things is asking to get their head bitten off. And your Faragger isn't afraid to do just that. You know what's funny? That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I would honestly love to see that. Exclamation point. Don't tell me about that. Come on, there. You don't happen to know any for alligators. Do you, question mark? I don't think he does, but that'd be so cool. Ah, uh, Skeletor gets a sharp chuckle at that, then grins with a sharp, dangerous look in his eye. Actually, funnily enough, I do know a couple, yeah. Why? You're gonna... Why? You're looking to have one take a bite out of the guy who ticked you off all those years ago? I would honestly love that. Exclamation point. If that was possible. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. 
What scores are you guys going to say that? That's going to be kind of hilarious. Skeletor's grin savagely loving how willing you are to have a Pharrell. You absolutely destroy that jerk for hissing you off. Yeah, yeah, it can totally be possible. I mean, I'm more than willing to send a Feraligator after that butthole who messed with you all of those years ago and made fun of your favorite Pokemon. It'd honestly be absolutely hilarious to have him get attacked by one. And the Feraligator that attacks him would absolutely enjoy getting even with the guy. When we get out of here, I would really love if you could do that. Exclamation point. Dude, is he really going to send a Pharrell guy after him? There's no way. That's hilarious, dude. Skeletor's grin savagely and nods in agreement at this request. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, I know a couple of fur alligators. Some I'd say I'm good friends with, and I could totally get one of them to make a good, hard, and very painful bite out of the guy who made fun of your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, but would he even do it for me, question mark? I don't, I don't know the best way to word it per se, but... George grins even wider and chuckles a little bit at that question. As if offended that you'd even question it. Oh, absolutely, he'd do it for you. Honestly, with how loyal and caring a Ferragger can be once they're made friends with a person, not to mention their fierce protective instincts, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that they would go after the person who hissed you off on your behalf. I would be really happy if whenever we get out of here and get back to my house, you could try calling one of them up. Seeing him get revenge would make me super happy. I cannot believe I'm having Skeletors want to help me with this crap. Are you kidding me? Oh. My. God. <laughs> Skeletors laughs savagely and grins with agreement at hearing you be super eager for your favorite Pokemon to get revenge. Yeah, sure. I honestly wouldn't mind doing that for you at all. I can tell how badly you want that jerk to get his comeuppance. And how much it means to you to have the person who made fun of your favorite Pokemon get what he deserves. I can tell you absolutely love your fur alligator. Oh. Every Ferragra I've had has been my best friend. Oh my gosh. Every. Oh. Has honestly been my best friend. Honestly, been my best friend. Period. I love him so much. Oh. Skeletor's grins at the sheer loyalty you are expressing towards your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, not gonna lie, I can tell. You're absolutely dedicated to them, and absolutely hate it when people make fun of them. Honestly, I really don't blame you. 
for alligators, some of the most loyal and protective Pokemon out there. They make absolutely amazing friends if you treat them well. Yeah, I have a good bit of them as friends. Exclamation point. They are super happy and grateful that I take good care of them. Let's see. Skillers nods warmly at that statement. Yeah, I can tell. It's obvious you take good care of them and spend time with them and treat them well and with respect. That's the secret to having Feralgurus friends, treating them well and giving them the love and respect that they are all owed. Well, I just had a there. Anyway, um, Let's see. Uh, let, me, let me think. Give me a second, guys. I have to figure out what to respond to this. Alright, guys. It took me a few minutes to figure out what to say to Skeletor after the statement he made last time because, uh, well, I have myself paranoid right now. But I just said I agree with him, and then he says this in response. Skeletor laughs and grins at hearing you agree with him, enjoying your passion and dedication for your favorite and best Pokemon. Yeah, it's really nice and refreshing to know that not all traders out there are heartless buttholes who only care about winning and only get us see us Pokemon's mere tools they can discard when they get bored of them. That's one thing you can guarantee being on my team. Period. You will get treated with so much love and affection just like all my other sweet Pokemon. Alright. Here we go. Skeletor laughs once more at that statement, obviously touched by the love and affection you were experiencing towards Feraligator. Yeah, I can tell. And trust me, a Feraligator would absolutely love to have a trainer who would treat them well and love them to bits. You sound like a trainer who would always do right by them and never take them for granted. And that is absolutely the kind of trainer Feraligator would love to have. I'm really happy to hear that, period. Uh, I really wish I didn't hear what I just heard right now. I hope I didn't hear that on camera. Sweet Arceus. Oh gosh, no, no, Skeletor, help, Freagger, help, where are you, help me, God, where are you, stop, make the wind stop, nope, do this thing, pause. Alright guys, well, let's just say it took a few minutes for me to continue talking to Skeletor, because, uh, I don't want to think about what people are talking about, let's just say that, okay? Don't bring it up, just, we're going to talk about the Skeletor, or talk to Skeletor, I just said, I'm really happy to hear that, he definitely sent, Skeletor grins in agreement at hearing you speak of the friendly and loyal nature of your alligator. Yeah, that's absolutely true. There's a lot of good that can be said about for alligators, such as they're absolutely strong and powerful. They're absolutely strong and powerful. They're a lot more friendly than they look. They're extremely loyal Pokemon who are very protective of whoever they form a bond with, and they'd follow their trainer into the very depths of heck if they had to. Holy frick. And I'm not saying something instead of the shower. I love a lot of Pokemon. Just never as much as him. A lot of Pokemon. 
just not as much as him. Just not as much as him. Period. But I still take care of my Pokemon because I love them. Ah, uh, Skillers grins with agreement at that statement, knowing that you can never love anything in even remotely the same way you love your favorite Pokemon. Yeah, that's completely true. Trust me, your Feralgear will always hold a special place in your heart, and no other Pokemon will ever hold a candle to the way you feel about them. That's completely normal. Every trainer has one Pokemon that they hold way higher than all the rest. At least he understands. Can I find a way to respond to that, guys? Guys, I need you to hear this real quick. I, I asked Skeletor a random question about how would you even call up your fur alligator buddies. And then this is what he said to it. Skeletor grins and chuckles a bit at such a random question being asked. Sim simple. I just called them on my phone. The ones I'm friends with have been into my house and they have my number. So I'll just give them a call and let them know what's going on. And I need their help. Uh oh. Um, give me a second, guys. All right, guys. Uh, I asked I can't. I I said this to Skeleton Urge. I never expect you to have a phone, but that's really cool. Would they really do that just because I love them a lot and they know that? Skeletors grins warmly in agreement at that last statement. Yeah, they absolutely would. As I said, Freyag is some of the most loyal and protective Pokemon you'll ever meet, and they're a lot more friendly and sociable than people assume. They'd absolutely help you out after seeing how much you adore and care about them. That would be amazing. Exclamation point. I cannot wait to see you call them up. Up and get Tim. Them to destroy that jerk. Exclamation point. Stop flickering, I see you! That's twice! Yes, I was right. So, just like I, exactly how I explained it to you is that yes, arcades are wide ranging natural disasters. Uh, they can impact large areas. Oh, so yeah, right. so, like, oh sweet arses. Let's go right past those so we should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. I cannot wait to see you call them up and get them to destroy that jerk. Skeletor grins savagely with agreement at hearing you be so eager to have a Feralgear kick the jerk's butt. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be absolutely hilarious. I can't wait to see his face when a Feralgear comes charging at him ready to absolutely wreck him. You and me both will be busting out laughing. Exclamation point. Give me a second. All right. Basically, guys, this is what I'm trying to scale with urge. You and me both would be busting out laughing. I suppose after they got done kicking his butt, if they had the biggest grin on their face. Skillard says, Skillard grins at the idea of a Faragger being absolutely gleeful at having kicked that jerk's butt, and the thought of you both uh, peeing yourselves laughing at what happened. 
Yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. Not only will we both be laughing our butts off at just having it happen, the Fragger itself will be having the time of his life at thrashing that guy. Are we even almost out of this forest? I just can't wait to get home and see that. Dude, my brain's about to go down, guys, or dead, so I gotta stop pretty soon. But I wanna see if I get to the point where I, where Fragger would do that. He always looks forward at the horizon, squints his eyes. Yeah, honestly, I think I see a clearing up ahead. We should be out of the forest in just a couple of minutes. That's good. Exclamation point. There we go. Yeah, honestly, this force was becoming a pain in my. Uh, wait. Yeah, honestly, this force was becoming a pain in my butt. Any way to be frank, I really just want to get out of here, get back to my house, and make that phone call. He really wants to get that friend kick the butt, uh, kick up, uh, kick his butt for me. I can't wait for that exclamation point. I continue to follow. For a couple of minutes until we finally get out of the forest. Dude, I cannot wait. Skeletor's last once more. Seeing the clearing from before up ahead. Ah, there it is. Finally out of that crappy forest. It feels good to see some sunshine. Exclamation point. Now the only thing is, where do we go from here? Watch him say, go to your house, idiot. Oh, what do you say to this? Yeah, seeing some sunshine through being in there for so long is a real treat. Skeletor's watch out of size. He scans the area trying to see where to go. Honestly, I think our best choice right now is to just follow the paths and roads and see if we can find a town. Once we get to a, get to a town, we can look for a phone that we can use to call my Feralgear friends. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna... If I don't get to see this before... My thing runs dead. I'm gonna be disappointed. I want to see the Feralgears kick this motherfucker's butt. I'm actually even more pumped right now. All right, let's go. Exclamation point. We follow the path for a little while. Okay. Skeldurge follows the path for a few more minutes until he comes up to a fork in the port path. Wooden leading... One leading left and one leading leading right. Hmm. Now, which way should we go? Maybe go right? Question mark. Because I realize. 
Let's see. See if that answer. See what that does. See, I just pauses to ponder this for a second. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Guess we're doing right. Is he southern or something? We take the road to the right. We take the road to the right and follow it for a little while. I'm just trying to see if I can actually, uh, we get. Skellers continues to follow the path to the right, enjoying the sunlight on his face now that they're out of the forest. Man, the sun feels nice, doesn't it? It sure does. Exclamation point. And, and I know it's Because I did it a lot of times. Holy crap. This is so cool. Skillers <laughs> grins at hearing your agreement, enjoying the sunny weather after having been the dark forest for so long. Yeah, and to think we were stuck in that crappy forest for goodness knows how long. Finally, having come out of it is a much needed change of scenery. Yeah, hopefully we will have another change of scenery in a few minutes when we hopefully see a town up ahead. Because I just like, if, if I just like, there we go. Yeah, that's the hope. Skillerge follows the path for a few more minutes until suddenly he hears what sounds like voices up ahead. Human voices. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Exclamation point. What should we do now? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, wind. Please. Yes. Great, I can't get that. Skeletor squints his eyes as he listens to the voices coming from up ahead. Wait, I'm going to see if I can hear what they're saying. Wait here for a moment. Wait. He makes a gesture to stay right where you are as he starts to creep forward towards his, towards the voices. I stay quiet and wait for a response. I stay quiet and wait for a response. Yeah, but I literally just saw the bathroom light switch Oh my gosh. Skeledurge makes his way further down the path toward the voices, ducking behind foliage to make sure he cannot be seen by them. After a few minutes of creeping closer, he crouches down to listen closer to the voices to try and understand what they are saying. I wait for... I wait for... To make a movement. Say or do something. Okay. Skelter listens intently to the voices coming from up ahead, his ear fins twitching as he focuses on hearing what they are saying. After a few more minutes, he turns around and motions for you to come closer. Okay, come over here quietly. I think I can make out what they are saying. I stay quiet and make my way slowly. I stay quiet and make my way slowly over to where
is sitting, standing, Let's see. Stillards whispers to you to keep your voice down and listen in on the voices. Okay, listen up. I can hear two guys up ahead and I can make out what they're saying. I say I say quietly. What can you hear? Question is anything. Skeletor's whispers even lower and motions for you to lean in a lot closer. They're talking to each other and I can make out some of what they're saying, but not a lot of it. Just lean in closer so you can hear what they're saying too. Okay. Exclamation point. I lean in closer so I can hear what the two people are saying. Let's see what I can get. I can make out the voices a bit e a bit more clearly, and the two people seem to be arguing with each other. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it was probably an escaped feral Pidgeot. Dude, I'm pretty dang sure that feral Pidgeot don't move like a pair of black shadows across the forest floor. You just need to lay off the weed for a while, bro. Excuse me? What am I talking to? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know if I can. I may have to cut that out. But he just said, I need to lay off. It, this dude needs to lay off the weed. <laughs> what? I thought this was a Pokemon conversation. What the frick just happened? <laughs> I continue to listen and hear what they are saying. I continue to listen and hear what they are saying. <laughs> I cannot believe that that came up on there. That's hilarious. <laughs> and that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. I continue to listen, and it sounds like they're having a pretty heated argument over what these supposed shadows were. Well, genius, then what else do you think they are? I don't know, but I'm pretty dang sure that feral Pidgeot don't move all weird like that, and also, you know, not fly or anything. They were walking on the ground. I continue to listen. Do I really keep saying that over and over and over again? You continue listening in as it sounds like the guy sounds like that guy number two doesn't seem to believe his friend's story at all. Dude, you're just being a paranoid idiot. No way did a pair of escaped feral Pidgeot just suddenly show up in the forest. You're just being an idiot. You know you're not allowed to weed after school. Your mom's gonna be so hissed off if she finds out you've been sneaking it again. I don't know if I can even have this on YouTube no more. I stay as quiet as I can, listening to what they are saying. I stay as quiet as I can, listening to what they are saying. They're still going, dude. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh. 
you listen closer as it seems the two guys are still arguing. Dude, trust me, I know what I saw and I swear to heck I'm not just bullcrapping you. Yeah, you're not bullcrapping me because I know you're telling me the truth. It's just that what you saw, whatever the heck it was, was not too feral Pidgeot. You're just being a paranoid dumb butt. I continue to listen. I continue to listen. I'm not going to keep saying this whole phrase over and over again. So I'm just going to say I'll continue to listen until they stop talking. How much are they going to talk? Once again, you continue to listen closer to the argument, and it's get, still getting pretty heated. Dude, they totally were feral Pidgeot. No, they absolutely were not. Feral Pidgeot don't crawl across the forest floor. They'd be flying. You're only seeing some shadows, you idiot. Sweet Arceus. I continue to listen even more. I continue to listen even more. Sweet Arceus. I kind of hope this conversation ends soon. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's like... Oh my gosh. You continue to listen as the fight is getting even more heated between them. Dude, I'm telling you, they were feral Pidgeot. And I am telling you that they were not feral Pidgeot. Whatever you say that you saw, whatever was moving in the forest, it was not your average feral Pidgeot. You're just being a dumb butt, alright? Shadows in a forest? Shadows in a forest? Question mark? That's very strange. I say quietly. You say this quality to yourself as you listen on the argument between the two people. Yeah, strange, right? I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't Pidgeot they saw, but this is still good news. Humans are nearby and we're gonna find a town soon. Yeah, it won't be long now. Period. Skillers nods in agreement at that statement, happy that they were now within range of human civilization once again. Yeah, just a little further, and we'll finally be out of that dang forest. Just be careful, they're still arguing pretty heatedly, and the guys seem to be pretty jumpy. They might notice us if we're not careful. What do you suggest we do to get past them? Question mark. Skeletorge goes momentarily silent as he looks closely at the area around him, trying to find if there were any spots nearby where you could hide. Hmm, how about we both go crawling until we can find some bushes or some bush where we can take cover? I don't think they'll be able to see us then. Worst comes to worst, we can always just run back the way we came. Good plan. Let's go. Exclamation point. Let's go. Exclamation point. No. 
Exclamation point. Those things are acting stupid as heck. Oh, crap. I'll do one more without stopping, guys, because uh, it's been 40 minutes. Skeldurge motions you to follow him as he goes crawling forward towards some bushes near the path. Okay, let's move forward very slowly. Be as quiet as possible, alright? Alright, exclamation point. I start crawling slowly. Towards. Towards the bushes. Skellerge also starts crawling forward slowly and quietly, keeping an intense focus on not making a sound as they crawl forward together. Be sure to stay behind me, alright? I'll make sure they don't see us. You got it, exclamation point. Just lead the way. There we go. Skeldurge leads forward, going very slowly as to not make an, any, any noise on the ground. Just keep following, and we'll be safe and out of sight before we know it. Okay, that's my motion point. Um. Skeledurge continues crawling forward, getting closer and closer to getting concealed by the bush. Almost there. Just a few more feet. I continue crawling. I continue crawling towards the bush. Skeletorch crawls some more until suddenly they both finally make it within the bush, now concealed and out of sight. Okay, we got concealment. We're safe now. That's good, period, but where do we go from here? Skeletorge peeks through the branches of the bush so that he can see the human boys up ahead. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We'll just wait here for a bit until those two boys finished up their argument. And then we'll make a break for it down the path. Sound good? It sounds good to me. Exclamation point. It's funny how they're still... They're, they're really still going on about their argument. Skeletorch continues to look out through the bushes at the two boys arguing. Okay, it looks like we've got a bit to wait. It doesn't look like they are going to stop soon. We'll just have to wait until they start walking again. Just stay where you are and stay quiet. You got it. That's motion point. We wait for a while behind the bush. While the two boys continue to argue. They don't stop so I'm just gonna influence the story a little bit and say within like 15 or 20 minutes they're quitting. Skeletorch continues to keep watch over them, quietly want waiting with you for a while just as the boys continue arguing. Man, those two just do not know when to quit, do they?
No. They don't. Period. It's kind of annoying how long they've been sitting there doing that. Alright guys, I'll get I'll get everything ready for the next one. I'll be right back.